Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to The Witcher 2. Uh, we found Odrin, we cleared out the cave, and now it looks like we need to actually pick up Odrin and carry him back to his friends. Like, this guy is probably gonna puke on my boots. My new Kedwenny Jack boots. And uh, I do have backup armor, the Banard armor, which is probably something that I'm going to be wearing if I'm being honest. I do I do really dig the Karen armor, just the colors and the aesthetics, but the other one is clearly stronger. So uh, I'll be going with that. The other thing is, uh, I believe that there are some areas I could Calm store my stuff. Calm down and stand up straight. Time. Up. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm going where I'm going. Uh, but it's outside I'm, I'm the walls, so I'm gonna have to look for that. I'm not going. I'm going. Odrin is aft right now. Halt! <laughs> What's that corpse you want to drag into the camp? Private Odrin. He's a... uh... sick. <laughs> Looks like he slept in a vat full of bulls. <laughs> and smells like he fell out of a dwarf's arsehole. <laughs> Why, you limp arse prick! Oh. You saying I stink? Come here! Odrin, shut up. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, yeah, he's my prisoner. This soldier didn't drink of his own accord. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks just like a teetotaler. I had to question him. And get him blind drunk in the process. Correct. I have my methods. You know something that unties the tongue better than liquor? Hmm. All right, come in. But hide him somewhere till he sobers up. We don't want no officer catching sight of him. Odrin, come here. I'm back! No, you I won! No, nope. yeah. nope. You be quiet. Shut up, Audrin. Let's look for your friends. God damn uh, this guy. See, I'm gonna take... Uh-oh. Audrin, stop fucking around and get up. <laughs> what? Huh? Who the, are this you? This area is some of the best oh, humor. Right. Wait a second. Oh, did you see that? Well, there's one of Something his drunk buddies. Something just flew past my head. Right there. And I think I know where the other ones are, unless they've moved. Sounds like there might be a battle going on. Tanker two, tanker Bats. three, tanker four. Bats. If you're feeling bad, Bats. you see bar if your guts are on the floor. Hey, come here. Five tankers, six tankers, you look like a goo. Don't fall neat the table, tear your ass to the stool. Oh, Ten tankers onwards and your guts are like a I stone. Have to go and Can't even see you, prick. It's time to head for home. There's another one. The cop calls Don's light. Damn, he's bloody loud. Suit up and fall in. God, I hope when they find these guys, these guys, these guys all F off. <laughs> they are so annoying. Still looking for coins. What else am I to do? It's driving me crazy. Brother, one tanker, two tanker, three tankers, four. And if you're feeling badly woozy, barf your guts upon the floor. Okay, this way, guys. Audrin, stop fucking around and get up. Well, this is so hilarious, but so annoying at the same time. I'm not. I'm one. We can't even talk. He's not even forming so many. Tanker two, tanker three, tanker four. If you're feeling badly, badly woozy, woozy, woozy you better get up on the floor. floor. Five, five tanker six, six tanker, you look like a ghoul. Don't, don't fall beneath the, the table, tear your ass to your stool. Ten tankers onwards and your guts are like a stone. Can't even see a brick, it's time to head for home. You can't call the dawn's light, 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 dawn's
Hear that, cocksuckers? Now step the fuck away from me, best mate. Beer inspires great conversation. Now that was... beautiful. <laughs> what you said. So, what are we gonna converse about? Uh, I don't know. I'm looking for work. Think Henselt could use a Witcher? Deathmold would make better use of one. Aye. He'll cut you up into bits and look at them neath a scope. Like a frog. Shut it. Deathmold's got long arms and even sharper ears. Huh. Henselt trusts Deathmold. I think the king knows what he's doing. He don't know shite. I stand by it. Deathmold's got him under his thumb. Quiet down. Folk are happy, though. That's what's important. Folk have had Henselt about up to the top of their... <laughs> Helmets. Things go on like this. They'll knock his fat ass off that throne. He don't look to his soldiers no more. Forgotten us, the ingrate. Well, it's no surprise they want to get rid of him, huh? Audrain, shut it. Girls like a brother. I'll keep no <laughs> secrets from him. Okay. Who are you talking about? A knave, greedy and cruel. Kills for pleasure. A son of a bitch has magic armor and plays tough. Thought he could do what he pleased until he caught Death Mole's eye. Now he's hiding. Too bad about them other lads. If Trot's caught, he'll give them all up. Heads will roll, I tell ya. Trot. Some peoples have come together to plot. They wanted me to join them, but I was too busy. And I don't trust this trot. Them other coiners is all right, but Vincent's a greedy sadist. Vincent trot. Where can I find them? What you mean, where? The brothel, of course. Ask for whistling Wendy. <laughs> I'm not looking for a whore. Once you have her, pay attention now. Tell her you want her smile to open the gates of paradise. Get it right. Except you won't get the fucker then. Ah, and give her this. I've no use for this coin. Won't buy me no beer. Wendy'll take you to them coiners. Damn it! This is a brothel, not oh. a military camp. Learn more about the conspiracy. Okay, this is good. This is very good. You must take the square coin to the brothel and ask for whistling Wendy. Okay. So, you get a square coin, uh, are told to go to the brothel, ask for Whistling Wendy, and tell her to open the gates of paradise with her smile, that beyond any doubt you're dealing with a conspiracy. Okay. What else do we have here? Search the site of the execution. Defeat Zivik at poker. The Butcher of Sedaris seems pretty cool, but you know what? I do have to go to the brothel because somebody mentioned that there is, uh, there was another person I had to talk to at the brothel. I can't remember though. But I'm hoping this takes me outside of the area. Yeah. It looks like it is. So hopefully I can find some storage and drop a bunch of my stuff in there. Excuse me. Oh, this looks like where we came in originally. Oi, Witcher! Out in these wastelands hunting monsters? Well, if you see two of my men, tell them I'll rip them both brand new assholes if they miss muster. Interesting. What are they doing there? It's a common malady. A day don't go by that some dimwit don't sneak out of the camp to go to the gullies. What's in the gullies? We'll see if I come across anyone. Luck be with you. You're a good fellow. Ah, find them and you'll see Corporal Zivik knows how to be grateful. Oh, this is Zivik right here. Okay, cool. So if I could find his uh, two people. Well, it was here yesterday. Then uh, I can play him in poker as well. 
All right, let's check what we're working with here. Oh, jeez. It's quite a large area. Raymond Gessler. Interesting. Okay. Well, not another. Let's go back to the theory so that we know where the brothel is. Look at the mountains and stuff. That's awesome. Hey, is that necrophages out there? Yeah, it is. Do this. Oh. Okay, goodbye, Rocky. Now, these must be those bodies that I have to light on fire. Yeah, burn corpses. Okay, okay, this is making more sense. So when it refers to like in or around camp, uh, it's quite a large area to cover. Oh. Haven't seen one of you for a while. Whoa. Shouldn't be surprised if there's more than one. Okay. Before I do anything else, like before any of this happens, can I drop... Will this take me down? Nope. I have to go and I have to find storage. That's just, like, it's gotta happen. Let's sort by weight here. Necker teeth. I definitely don't need all... All of these. Okay. All of this stuff will be here. Oh, I think that little symbol means uh, storage. I want to stock up on provisions. Seek and ye shall find. Whoa, weird little dwarf. He was a shepherd, had experience in seeking and finding. <laughs> you know the good book? That's what we have, please. Any discount on account of that? <laughs> no. He's a dwarf after all. Well, let me try to finger wag him. The prophet Lebiota encourages the giving of discounts. <laughs> I, I don't recall that verse. Oral tradition. Hmm. And if your neighbor offers you a basket of apples for a ram, say you shall take but half a basket, for ten more neighbors will come, and five of them will offer you two baskets of apples for the ram so many covet. An endless source of wisdom. <laughs> Browse and choose. Nice. Okay, so I finally can store stuff here. This is amazing. I'm gonna put so many things in here. Uh, I will store all of my trophies, because the one I currently have is uh, the one I prefer. I'm gonna store my mutagens. Alchemy-wise, I'm pretty good, so I can store pretty much everything. And then when I want to, I can just make the alchemy that I feel I'm going to need or want. I wish there was a faster way of getting this over there. Uh, this item cannot be sold. That's- I'm not trying to sell it. This is my storage. Yeah, okay. That's weird. Okay, well that doesn't ha carry any weight anyways. And actually a lot of these don't carry weight. Let's see. I could sell those boots. I'm not gonna need them. I'll keep the Banard and I'll wear it. I'll sell those. I'll keep my upgrades. I'll sell some of them, I guess. I'll sell the plus ones. I guess the best I can get is plus twos anyway. 
Potions I'll keep, diagrams I'll keep. And my books I'll keep because they don't carry any weight. And that's good. It takes me down to 210 plus when I sell some of these I things. The nail guy. So let's try on my new armor. Uh, armor of Bannard. And I guess I'll sell the Karen armor. You know what? I'm going to store it just because it kind of looks cool. It's not really worth the 84 orange to sell something like that, I don't think. Browse and choose. Okay, so let's get rid of the... I could win any leather, Tamarian jackboots. And I'll sell all of these harpy claws. There we go. I think we're in a good spot. You should have Okay, cool. Greetings. Welcome an opportunity when it comes. They say you run a traveling pawn shop. Heard you even have books. Nice. <laughs> no song, no supper. Nobody mentioned you speak in proverbs. A willful man must have his way. Ah, oh, you're doing this on a bet. How long do you have to go on like this? Lost time is never again <laughs> found. What happens if you lose the bet? Crows do not pick crow's eyes. Good luck anyway. Fortune is easily found, but hard to keep. I wish you persistence then. Can I see your goods? I'm mainly interested in those books. Better to ask the way than to go astray. <laughs> oh, I can cut my hair too? All right. Let's see. Better to I want to see what he has for sale. I'm probably gonna buy a whole bunch of these books. On Earth Elementals, I bet you that would have information on the uh, Golem, I'm guessing. Let's buy it. Brookside, Gargoyles, Harpies. Oh, Bullvores. Yeah, why not? Trolls and Trolling. Slaves of the Curse. Conjunction of the Spheres. The Dun Banner. Nilfgaardian Provinces, Realms of Nordlings, and that's everything. Okay, great. We'll check out some diagrams here. Uh, Gargoyle Heart and Amethyst Dust. That's weird. Robust Cutlass. 14 to 21. How is my sword? Okay, mine's better. So what I'm going to do is I'll uh, quickly open these books and then uh, I'll spend time reading them uh, in a separate episode like I did the previous one. Okay, this is Draugr's, so new journal entry for Draugr's. Trolls. Bulvors. Harpies. Gargoyles. Bruxa. And Bruxa, we have to actually... Isn't that the thing we have to approach at midnight or something? I think it is. Earth Elementals. And that's everything. So... It's on their tents. Just need to watch the... Let's check out this Earth Elemental. Uh... Oh, we got... We can even scroll now. Okay, here we go. Trolls, huge beings. We'll go through this in more detail later, but I just want to get uh, an idea. Easily shrug off weaker blows. These are the bulvors. One should wait for this attack and dodge it. Bulvor uses a terrifying weapon against swifter foes. Vomits filth. Uh, so should be fought using a blade coated with necrophage oil. No common poisons or oils. Uh, harpies are winged creatures. They attack swiftly from a great distance. Pinning them to the ground, denying them flight is often the only solution. Thus incapacitated, they become a clumsy as hen. Stunned with a bomb, hit with Igni or Ard. Uh, greatest strength ability to fly, but they can also be grounded with the use of a trap. Because the creature's wings are feathered, they're easily set aflame. So Igni. Okay, good to know. Gargoyles. Fighting the gargoyle means fighting a solid rock. So maximum poisons are useless. 
uh, fire and oils. Um, because of its great mass, the gargoyle's stone body cannot be unbalanced, let alone knocked down. Immobilizing one with a trap will fail as gargoyles can teleport and flee snares. Uh, Brookside, less powerful Brookside often hunt in packs, make it easier to corner prey. If threatened, they attack with their talons and rip the victim apart. The creature can screech with such force that a shockwave will set, will knock even a huge man down. Uh, let's see. Brookside deprives their enemies of sight in order to play cat and mouse with them. Tell sight returns once you defend against their attacks in every way possible. For example, by using the Quen sign. Now, I wonder if you were to use, like, cat. Or no. There's a, there's a potion I can make that lets me see invisible things, I think. Books that have massful control over their blood circulation, rendering poisons and oils that increase bleeding ineffective against them. They're good at defending themselves against witchers' tricks, but they are vulnerable to fire and can be knocked down and finished off as they try to get back up. Okay. Draugr is susceptible to... Sp oh, Spectre Oil! So one should coat a silver blade with it before battle. These are wraiths. Okay. Earth elementals. Um, mighty arms. Blow from the earth elemental is akin to a battering ram hitting a city gate. According to the fight fire with fire rule, or rather the fight strength with strength, one should use strong blows against the elemental. Earth elemental's body is rock solid, so the creature cannot be poisoned or blooded. Or if the witcher has no such team at hand. Oh, it's best to summon a team of dwarven miners to use pickaxes. Um, has no weaknesses, but can be beaten. All right, cool. That is awesome. And I've stored a bunch of my stuff. I'm feeling rather light. I'm going to talk to people around here. Greetings, Tyler. Oh, play. Pretty please. Got to watch out for these fires. Camp followers encampment. So here's the brothel, eh? Are there trolls here? Aye, there are. Well, well, a witcher. Girls, prim yourselves. <laughs> How can I help you, Hansen? Hmm. Why not? Let's take a break here. I'm looking for a whore. We've got plenty of those, you'll be glad to hear. But you'll need to show me your coin before you choose one. We all have our principles. Oh. I've got the Orans, if that's what you're wondering. Well, these are my girls. Choose, white-haired one. Birdie, Big Bus, Miriam, Arceletta, Licking Lucy, or Whistling Wendy. Oh, we need to talk to Whistling Wendy. Uh, let's talk to her, I guess. No, but you know what? I don't want to, uh, spend money when I can just drop the coin thing. Well, well, a witcher. How I wanted to talk. We're no strangers to the art of conversation, but it'll cost you just as much as a good plow. I'm not going to pay. Okay, well, madam. How can I? I'm looking. We, but you. Here it is, the square coin. Well, these are my girls. Choose, white-haired one. All right, now Whistling Wendy. I've heard good things about Whistling Wendy. At your service, my prettiest girl, tis true. Fool soldiers gave her that stupid nickname. <laughs> Tidy yourself, Wendy. Which you're on the way. Come deep. on in. <sighs> hey, Whistling Wendy. Find her in somewhere and stay dry. What do you desire, my hero? I want your smile to part the gates of paradise. Come with me. That was easy. No pun intended. <laughs> Whoa, okay, didn't expect that. Was she just gonna leave me there? 
You have nothing else to tell me about it? Find a roof somewhere and stay dry. Why are you running about? Well, well, we how can I help you, handsome? Hmm. Okay. Alright, I guess I'm gonna jump down there. Oh Jesus. What am I doing down here? Vincent oh. Trot, you're a little elusive. Here alone. Not wise, Witcher. We'll see about that. I'm wearing Selkirk's armor, you know. Pretty much renders me invincible in a duel. I want that. I didn't know you had Selkirk's armor. I guess that changes things. <laughs> if you think we're willing to let you go, or that you can escape through magic trickery of some sort. Relax. I'm not going anywhere. Give me the chainmail and I'll forget everything. Whistling Wendy, your plot. I know about the coins. Your death mole's hound. I don't trust you. I hate that. You don't mold. need to. <laughs> I just need the chain mail. Not interested in anything else. I'm to remove it. And hand it over. Then you'll be on your way. Yep. And all will be well. Doesn't sound like my kind of story. How's this instead? I'll kill you, take your swords and gold, and the gods will rain good fortune upon me for ridding them of a filthy mutant. Die. Oh, yeah. Die! Kill him! Whoa! There's a bunch! Okay, need space. I feel like I'm down here a little early. Eat shit and die! Come on, everyone. I gotta save him for last, for sure. Die now! This is really tight spaces in here. That works. Eat shit and die! Yeah. his armor. Vincent. 
Okay, now one guy to deal with instead of all of them. Let's get my vigor back up here. nearly part. And actually, if I can get his armor, that'll come in handy in the, uh, in the fights that I'm gonna have to have in the arena thing. I wonder if the Whistling Wendy set me up. Magnifying glass? Okay. Seltkirk's armor, a hog named Hensel, Conspirator's hideout key, superb kid when he jackboots, and first rate Sumerian sword. Interesting. There's gotta be something in that. While the magnifying glass. Okay, we're gonna have to check this out. What is that noise? These are like little cells, I guess? The thing I'm worried about most is this fire. It's like my greatest enemy. All right, so what did we pick up here? We did get a Kedwini sword or a first-rate Temerian sword. These do 23 to 28, which is clearly better than what I'm using. And uh, first-rate Temerian vigor regen during combat. Interesting. That's kind of a tough decision, but it's quite a bit stronger. And then if I add some runes to it, I can probably make it worthwhile. But there are no runes, so that's okay. Not a big deal. We got the hideout key. Now, what is this? Plus 14. Oh, the one I have is actually better. I would think that this would be uh, stronger, but it's not. He made it out to, he made it out to sound that way. Uh, reduction of damage from magic is 4%. And then resistances. So these are actually even better than the uh, Kidwenny Jack boots. These are superb. So why not? Okay, let's see what this says. Pamphlet smearing Henselt. So yet Henselt courts the Imperial Envoy like a cheap whore who has singled out a burger with a full pouch at the brothel. Keep in mind that a whore can let anyone she wishes plow her. Her arse, her choice. The king owes us more. His arse belongs to all of us and its name is Kedwin. <laughs> dare we say, dare we allow a Nilfgaardian prick to plow our country? As my friend who is a witcher says, if that's what the world needs to be saved, perhaps it would be better that it perish. Interesting. I wonder if... I wonder who the guy who wrote that is. I wonder if that's Dandelion. Um, let's see. Geralt found Selkirk's chainmail in the hands of one trout. This brought him one step closer to lifting the curse. Oh, right. Oh, right. That's why we needed the uh, the chain mail. Okay. That makes sense. I forgot about that. At the plotter's headquarters, Geralt found a pamphlet denig denigrating King Henselt. I proudly admit to being its author. It was Dandelion. Uh, the Witcher, however, should be ashamed, for he did not appreciate this well-written lampoon and even dared reprimand me. Yeah, makes sense, though. Makes sense. You don't throw my name in there. 